Hey, I'm a little late, kind of, and this is in a different location. This is in my dorm lounge. It's my dorm lounge, because no one is in here right now, and it's like 12.30 in the morning, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, I was a little late just because like, I've been playing a lot of games lately non-stop. It's November. November is basically like the biggest month of the year for video games because so many games came out. Like within the last like five weeks we've had Dead Space, Fable 2, Fallout 3, Left 4 Dead, Here's a War 2, Far, Far Cry 2, Andrew Kazooie, Mirror's Ed, Tales of Symphonia, World of Warcraft, Wrath, The Lich King, and Expansion. And that's about it. I don't know, there's a few more, like, ton of other games, but those are the ones that matter. So I'm playing a lot of Fallout 3. I'm a little paranoid right now just because random people are walking by and, oh, well, they might be walking by or the lights will turn off because they think no one's in here, so it's going to be weird anyway. I'm playing Fallout 3, I rented that Blockbuster, and that's only on PC, Xbox 360, and I believe PS3, I believe so. And I, you guys probably thought I don't have any of those systems, but I got through 60. I did a little subliminal message last week. Yeah, I got that at the bookstore. is for basically free. I got the arcade model, which is $200, and I'm going to get the 60 gig Xbox Live starter pack bundle, which comes with the 60 gig hard drive, headset, three months of Xbox Live, Ethernet, cable, and... I think that's it. Yeah, that's like a hundred bucks. So basically, it's the same price total of a, as a regular pro, but a, bit, a little bit cheaper. I mean, save yourself like I think 10, 20 bucks. So yeah, oh yeah, I'm playing Fallout 3, and basically, I've been playing that from Thursday to now. And it's pretty fun, pretty epic. Uh, it's basically it's made by Bethesda. I can't say the company name, Bethesda. Bethesda. Balgic. Seta. Anyway, it's made by the people who do the Elder Scrolls games, and most notably uh, Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. And it's basically the exact same game, but with guns. Pew, 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 pew! And yeah, uh, I didn't really like Oblivion all that much, but I totally loved Fallout. I don't know why, because I like fantasy stuff more than post apocalyptic future stuff. But, yeah, this game, I don't know, just really stuck with me. Yeah, uh, it can be pretty long if you make it that long. Uh, I started off doing the main quest, and I branched off doing a couple side quests, get some extra XP, and get a couple levels. And then, I'm like, you know what, fuck, I have, like, two days left, so I better, like, get back onto the main quest. So I just, like, grinded straight through that. It's good, like, you're going to have about 10, 15 hours for that, and... Yeah, pretty good game. I guess if you do all the quests, I guess if you do multiple paths, you can play for the game multiple times because there's like a good path, an evil path, a neutral path. So you're looking at around, like I've heard, 100 hours. Some people have played like just like their first playthrough took them about like 20 hours. I don't really know how much long it took me. I think about took me about 20 hours. Sounds about right. Some cool stuff in it, like the Rock It Launcher. And you make this weapon, and basically it's like a rocket launcher that shoots out anything you pick up. Like, you'll pick up all kinds of random crap, cups, and empty beer bottles, and forks, and spatulas. And what my favorite stuff to pick up and shoot is teddy bears. Like, you'll find teddy bears randomly. So, basically, I, I stopped playing once I got this gun, and went around the world, like, getting a stockpile of, like, 30 or so teddy bears. And they're reusable, too, whenever you shoot them. So and it's, you combine this with a perk, which are like power ups called Bloody Meth, Bloody Mess, Bloody Meth. Yeah, yeah, uh, Bloody Mess. Basically, uh, whenever you kill someone, they blow up in like really gory, bloody fashion. So hence the name Bloody Mess, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, uh, I had a buddy watch me play. He was a little creeped out, grossed out by the blood stuff, so if you're not really into really gory stuff, probably don't want to look at this game. 
you know, really gory stuff that goes with Taylor's Challenge, the Saw movies. Um, I haven't seen any of them. I didn't really have any interest. I don't know. When these first came out, I didn't really care too much about movies, and I still don't really care too much about movies, except for Wally and Tron and Braveheart and, like, Star Wars. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Saw movies, uh, I don't know. Scary movies don't bother me. I think I just laugh at them. Gross movies don't really bother me. Uh, I guess maybe, I don't know. It has to be a, a captive audience thing to make me watch them because I won't go out of my way to watch them. And, I don't know. I think like X Play did like or G4 or someone on that shitty stand channel. Did like a parody. I think it was X Play. Of Saw. And basically it was just the Halloween episode. It was like a couple years ago. And it was just. I remember one of the, like I know how how saw movies go. It's like a bunch of people stuck in like in a room or a house, and all these like uh, dude jigsaw ch challenges you to these games. And you have to do them or something. I don't know why. And you end up killing each other in the process. So yeah, uh, one of the challenges games was this one dude, uh, Kevin Pereira. He was forced to play the Virtual Boy, and the Virtual Boy was a really bad system. Uh, it was like red. Like, like a pair of goggles on a stand. Uh, Inger video game nerd reviewed it like like half a year ago. I'm not gonna show you a clip because this is gonna be a really quick video. You know, I'm already like going at like seven minutes right now or whatever the hell it'll be at this point. And yeah, uh, basically he is like the virtual boy is strapped to d the dude's face, and he's like playing Wario, and he's like, "Hey Wario, I remember that game. That's not that bad." And then like. I think the problem with the Virtual Boy is it kind of gives you that like, depth of field illusion. That's pretty cool, but everything is red and black. Like that's all you see. And uh, people got like headaches, uh, seizures, and crap from the system. Like just constantly, like they could not see red for like a month after playing that thing. So that's why the system didn't do very well. Yeah, so, so on movies, uh, I don't really care. Hey, if you invite me over to come watch them, I'll probably watch them. Kelly, High School Musical 3, uh, I haven't seen that movie, and I can't because I'm a poor college kid, but maybe when I go back home for Thanksgiving, and if Carmike has that movie, I'll probably check it out for free, because I'm awesome like that. You said drink a soda without burping, well, I think... Oh, it's kind of so it's Jones soda even says so um, it's not your regular soda I don't think it's quite as carbonated so it should be possible but effort can't open it I have to cherry rig it <sighs> okay cool you will be confronted with limited limitless opportunities okay so this time I think I'm just gonna chug it Now let's see how long I can go without burping. Oh, I feel the pressure. It's like a volcano. Mount Vesuvius, you're not taking over me. Maybe I think I'll fart because that's not a burp. It's just a burp out of my butt, but big difference. Uh, Kelsey, I think you ate over 9,000 goldfish. So I have a question for you guys. When Obama implements reverse slave plantations, will you regret your vote? This is my vlog, and week confirmed the quote one up yours.